the net. <laughs> We've got Naomi on our BMW desk. It is great to see you. Congratulations on the win. I know you said it feels like home to be back there, but to get that first win, what was that like? Yeah, definitely very nerve-wracking. Um, and overall, I was just really excited to be back playing tennis here. And um, <laughs> I guess... I guess excited, yeah. She was very different from my opponents that I played before, so a bit of an adjustment. Talk about that, the, the beginning part of that first set, Naomi, because there was, there was a little bit of back and forth there, and, and it was a, a bit of a windy day. But once you started finding your range, it was, you know, the execution seemed brilliant. So what was that little bit that, um, that you found? Um, honestly, I feel like I just had to be a little bit more calm. I think usually when I start out in matches, I, I tend to come out a little bit too explosive in a way, but I feel like today my legs weren't working that well and I tried to overcompensate with my upper body. So just doing too much, I, I feel like I had to breathe and go for the shots that were there. All of us that have been watching and following the tour so closely have been so excited of, of you coming back and feeling in such great shape out there. Have you, have you been able to be nice and patient with yourself as as your form continues to come back because you know sometimes it's so easy to get back out there and just be like you know I want it I want it right away yeah um, I think I'm that type of person because I feel like you know everyone has dreams and when they dream they want to win so it's not necessarily like I was sitting out for a year and like wanting to lose in the first round but I think I just have to know it's a process and um, continue to believe in myself and my team around me and eventually I'll get to where I want to be Obviously, you started the season and left the baby at home. Now she's on the road with you. What What is that like for you? Um, it's it's exciting. Um, honestly, probably the happiest moments of my day are just to come back and to see her having fun. And um, I kind of realize, like... I feel like I clock out in a way when I get home because I'm immediately not an athlete. I'm like her mom, of mm -hmm. course, and um, it's 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 a new feeling, but I, I enjoy it a lot. How has that helped and changed your perspective level when you when you do step on the court and compete? Um, it makes me feel like every minute is very important, and I have to make the most of the time that I do have, um, and just value. I think value the seconds more. Mm. How would you characterize where you are at right now in terms of the dreams and the reality and, and where you want to be? That's really tough because I've been fortunate enough to play really good players and I think I've played really good matches against them. So um, a part of me is really hard on myself for not winning those matches, but another part is telling myself to give you know, some grace and know that it takes time and I can't immediately beat the best players in the world right away. I have to learn and I have to play a lot more matches. So um, I think right now I'm in pretty good shape, but where I want to be is much higher. Well, I know you have your eyes set on the absolute highest prizes as, as you've held in the past. Um, Naomi, off the court, you seem to be doing so many interesting things as well. Um, you're a storyteller. One of my favorite things that you're doing off the court. Tell us, uh, what is what is Hannah Kuma up to at the moment? Oh, Hannah Kuma's up to a lot. Very cool, very cool. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's it's really exciting to, I guess, step through these doors via tennis and have all these opportunities to learn from the best people in the world. I think when I was little, I, I dreamed of, you know, writing stories and I'm not a good artist. So um, I loved watching movies. So to be able to have that uh, platform now is something that's really incredible. You're very creative. You're also very honest and love kind of getting inside your mind, Naomi, and even when it comes to Instagram captions. So <laughs> stuff from uh, I found a new purpose in tomorrow. Today, I'm stronger, too. And if you really think about it, who gives a blank? So wh <laughs> where does this stuff come from? I guess my mind. <laughs> um, no, usually it's like how I feel and what I feel like other people feel. You know what I mean? Um... I uh, I found it really shocking, like when I was younger, and when I say younger, I guess like 20 or something. Um, but sometimes people would come up to me and say they relate to this and this and this. And uh, I think as people, we kind of think we're the only ones going through that specific situation, but um, it's not true at all. So, yeah. Well, it's always a pleasure to see you. Congratulations on the win today. We hope to see you again. Best of luck going forward, Naomi.
Thank you. Thank you.